You know, when I found out this game came out for the PC, I about shit a brick. Hey everybody, it's Nobody, and I'm here to bring you another Let's Play, and this is actually one of my favorite games of all time, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. And I'm going to be doing this Let's Play a little bit differently from my Portal 1, in that, as you can probably already tell, I'm doing this live. Or, uh, well, I'm attempting to. See, the thing is, I'm not really good with live commentary, and... I tend to run out of things to say really quick, and I'm a lot better at being able to look back on what I did, or what I've done, and come up with things to say after the fact, but I do have my moments where I'll say something and then I'll completely forget it, but I'll find it hilarious to whoever I'm talking to or whoever I'm playing with. That happens to be hilarious, and I wish I could remember, or I wish I could repeat it, because, you know, it, with timing and comedy, comedy's all about timing, it's just... I decided to try something different, and another thing that probably many of you can relate to is I find it hard to finish things. I find it hard to dedicate myself fully to a project, and I finishing my Portal Let's Play, honest to god, was the first l I've made several Let's Play attempts, and that was the first one that I ever actually finished. So. Um, amongst some minor issues with my computer, for some reason, a lot of my games, not all of them, but a lot of my games will lower randomly, which interrupts my recording process. So, um, heads up, if the recording switches, it's because my computer lowered my game and my recording just stopped, so I'm sorry. Uh, that's something I can't, avoid, I can't fix, I've tried fixing it. I don't know what to do. If anyone has any suggestions, let me know, aside from... <laughs> I, I don't know, but, uh... Anyway, um, so I'm going to try playing this live, and I'm going to see how it goes, and god damn it, I'm gonna finish this! <laughs> and uh, with that started, let's start with the dark story, because this is the beginning. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! alert. alert. Security, Security breach, breach at gate 3. 3. Intruder located in the, in the north, north quadrant and, and is moving, moving in the direction, direction of the, of the underground, underground base. base. All, All units, units prepare to engage. engage. Emergency, Emergency battle, battle formations. formations. Standard, Standard battle, battle procedures, procedures initiated. Locate and stop the intruder from entering the security area. area. This, this is not our drill. drill. Repeat. Repeat. This, this is, is not our drill. drill. <laughs> that was all too Let's take a look at what my grandfather was working on. A top secret military weapon. The military shut down the research because they feared <laughs> Yeah, I bet they did. So, we're gonna start off with the first mission on the dark side, and that would be Eggman. And, uh, for the record, his gun never fires like that. It always pissed me off as a kid. I-I-I was always annoyed that I could never get his gun to fire like a machine gun. Pissed me off every time. But, uh, if you're familiar with the Sonic series, then one of the things if you're familiar with the original Sonic series, one of the things you may be asking yourself is, why does Eggman have a health bar? And this is the beginning of a very interesting period of time in the Sonic franchise's history. On top of... Oh, thank you, Omo Chow. That was actually completely unplanned, but okay, that works, yeah. The Sonic games pick up a habit of including health bars on some of the enemies, and I, I, for this, it's fine. And this isn't even on enemies, this is on you. This is fine. But, they take this concept and apply it to the enemies, uh, in Heroes, in Shadow the Hedgehog, which I guess I can understand, because Shadow had guns, as stupid as that was. Um, and unlike a lot of people, I actually didn't mind that game. Uh, some of the repetitive nature of the missions, yeah, kind of bored me, and going back and playing it now, I probably wouldn't enjoy it as much as I did when I was a kid, but... Yeah, I was a kid. I didn't hate it. It was Shadow. It was edgy. I was a toddler. Or, that was a teenager who just wanted to be accepted by his angry, hateful peers. Oh, uh, special item behind here, I think. Yeah, uh... Speaking of better cannons, I think that is the other cannon. <laughs> Um, we can't get that. Or, no, that's not the other cannon. Uh, I think that's... That's not the bazooka. I don't know what that is. Um... Anyway, we'll go back. 
health bars. Sonic series. Not good. There. I said it. Well. Okay. I kind of didn't hate it as much as most people did, but I know that a lot of people complained about the health bars. Uh, Sonic Heroes, they were fine. Shadow the Hedgehog, they were fine. Sonic 06, nothing was right with that game. Nothing was right with that game, but I didn't really hate the health bars that much. Um, but a lot of people did. And then this is the first time they appear in a Sonic game. Uh, aside from you know, obviously, bosses had health bars that you couldn't see in the three, uh, the two D game. Stop! Yeah, this is why I don't like do line recording, a live recording. But I'm gonna finish it. I'm gonna stick with it. I am going to stick to my guns. I am going to make my let's playing great again. Here. I'm going to make my let's playing great, and then I'm going to go through 40 years of stagnation and infighting, and then I'm going to make my let's playing great again. But uh, for now, let's just make it great. You know, I don't even know why I'm trying to do this. Uh, it's This is not me trying to come off as like rude or, you know, depressing. I, I really don't know why I'm making YouTube videos. Uh, part of me kind of wants to believe that I just want to be famous, but... I don't think I care. It's, when I was younger, yeah, I wanted to be famous on YouTube. Everyone wants to be famous on YouTube when they were younger, or most people. Nowadays, I don't really think I care. I, honestly, I don't know. I feel like it's an experience. Yes. It's something people have, uh... It's something a lot of people do, and I kind of want to experience it myself, so why not? Shut up, chair. <laughs> Piece of cake. And I can't... I, 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 I'm not A-ranking most missions in this game. I hope you're okay with that. Uh, I'm just not that good. So this is the military's top secret weapon. It's a lot smaller than I expected. Enter user data. Uh -huh. Enter password. Password is Maria. Maria. Now all I have to do is to place the Chaos Emerald into this console. So kind to release me, my master. I will grant you one wish. Now, what? Behold the true power I possess. Many of you watching this, this all of you. Troops hotshot. Enemy movement has been detected. En route to intercept and destroy. If you didn't recognize the game before, you definitely recognize it now. This is the game where Edge Lord the Edgy the Hedgehog, Edge Lord Edgy the Hedgehog was introduced. God, that was such a tryhard joke. But uh, yeah, uh, this was Shadow's first game, and um, I remember when they were advertising Sonic Adventure 2 Battle because that was the version I got. Um, they were doing the good hedgehog, bad hedgehog advertisements, uh, and I always thought were kind of funny. Um, I didn't see a lot of the ones for the Dreamcast era, because I know they did some for those too, but I remember they did uh, something for the GameCube version. I actually got this game when I was five, and I loved every second of it. It was great. Oh crap. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, we're, there's a certain level that we're going to come to, and I'll tell you what it is when we get there. Um, but I never got past that level till I was 12, and it wasn't because it was hard. Oh no, it wasn't because it was hard. It was because I was a pussy. Hey, what do you know? I did it. I actually didn't think I'd make that one. <laughs> Pathetic humans. But yeah. Destroying that guard robot was spectacular. So, Shadow, you are the military's top secret weapon. But what did you mean when you said you will grant me a wish? Bring more Chaos Emeralds. Shadow, wait! I'll be waiting for you in the central control room on the Space Colony Ark. Ark. Just let it go. You just don't know when to give up, do you? What are you talking about? That emerald's mine. Got that? The Master Emerald contains special powers that neutralize the energy of the Chaos Emerald. That makes it very powerful. What the? What? Please. Look who's calling who at me. I hate him following the signal from the Emerald. If I'm not mistaken, this is the Master Emerald. It's not Dr. Eggman. So that's Dr. Eggman. Well, I think it's something. I'll just take Not if I can help it. Knuckles, that's a copyright name. You can't use that. Welcome to the next gameplay uh, mechanic gameplay variant. It, it, this is the second gameplay variant that Sonic Adventure 2 has. One of three! You saw the mech ones, which we saw first, and you got a glimpse of Shadow's gameplay mechanics with the boss fight, but uh, as you can guess, there's probably a little bit more to it. And uh, with Rouge and Knuckles, we have the treasure hunting segments, which were from Sonic Adventure, and as a huge Sonic fan, I have committed the cardinal sin of not playing Sonic Adventure. I own it, I played a little bit of Sonic Story, and frankly, I got rather annoyed with the way the mouth moves. Uh, it's not that much better here, but Sonic's eyes and mouth were just too much. Way too much. It, it, it's not that the gameplay was bad, the gameplay was fine. I, I enjoyed the gameplay, but the cutscenes kind of took me out of the game. Granted, I was a younger, kind of the stuck-up kid who was like, if it's not the way I like it, then it's not good at all. So if I went back and played it now, I might enjoy it, and I might be able to look past it. But at the time, I had that mindset, so I am, a, I am horrible. I should stop goofing off and get on with it. But yeah, um, so I have been told that the gameplay mechanics are similar. I cannot vouch from a personal experience, but uh, I'll just go with that. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, we got a small glimpse of Shadow's mechanics. Uh, he shares basically everything with Sonic, short of upgrades. Uh, and even then, I actually think they do share a bunch of upgrades. Or they share a bunch, but I don't know if they share them all. Um, also, uh, one thing to note about uh, where we are right now. Um, take a good look. If you've never played this game before, if you want to play it once or twice, take a good look at the uh, area we're in, because it's going to come back here in a bit. I 
saw it somewhere. I know it's here somewhere. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Oh, I'm also taking to one. Something I should tell you. These TVs, uh, if you use them, they'll give you hints of uh, where you can find the uh, emerald piece. Um, you get three, and then you get no more, and each time you use one, your score decreases. You want to try to find each emerald piece as fast as you can without using hints uh, to increase your score to go for the A rank, if that's what you want. I never really cared much. I actually, honestly, as goofy as it is, enjoyed this game for the story. It's all too easy for the me. Completely insane, off the rails, out there story. Ah, sand ocean. Those idiots will never find my hidden base inside this pyramid. <laughs> Let's pick the business here first, then get inside. This is my least favorite Eggman level. It is long, it is boring, and the quicksand is unforgiving. In Sonic's playthrough, you encounter quicksand to Sonic and you are able to jump out of it. But in this game, no. Or in this level, no. In Tails level, no. Quicksand kills, it's an instant death. And as a kid, it frustrated me to no end. I had broken many a GameCube controller by throwing them against a wall. My parents were not happy with me. Ever. I did have anger management issues as a kid, but... I took them out on the wrong controllers, man. See? Thankfully though, after many insane trials and uh, attempts on my patience, I have managed to nail this game down somewhat decently. See, I'm just now hitting the minute 30 mark. I would normally, it would have already taken me three minutes to get here when I was a kid. Yeah, I was I was not the best at playing video games when I was a kid. <clears throat> For many reasons, chiefly of which, uh, I was a pansy. And again, you're gonna laugh your ass off when we get to the point, but uh, I was not a brave child. But it's long, sand ocean. It's long, it's hard. And it reminds me of being in California. That was a terrible joke. The music in this game is always nice, though. It's... But then again, the music in Sonic games are usually pretty good. Also, this is a mm, probably really weird complaint, but uh, I understand because of the graphical limitations that that's why Eggman's uh, Eggmobile, Eggman's totally not Bowser's clown car, uh, has the uh, hexagonal shape to it, but um. Hexagon, octagon, I'm not sure which it is. I never bothered to count the size. Uh, I understand that that's because of a limitation in the amount of polygons you can use uh, and optimization requirements and what have you, and the fact that pretty much every Sonic game that came out during the GameCube era was using Dreamcast graphics because, God forbid, they actually try to harness all the power on the machine, but I actually kind of like it better this way. Uh, I am impressed with the ability to get smooth curves and spheres in video games nowadays. Uh, it's quite the achievement, considering what they used to be. But, um, I don't know, something about the 
because like it has the curve on the front, but something about the hexagon, octagon, whatever you want to call it, uh, design on the back end, I just like it. It appeals to me more. I don't know why. Four minutes in, and I haven't died. I don't feel like I'm dragging ass. I mean, I did wait for that extra go around, but I'd rather do this, you know, with some level of a competence. But this is just one long level that I just don't enjoy playing. Iron Core, or Iron Prison, whatever it was, the first one that we were on. It felt shorter than I think it is, because I think it's like three minutes, but I feel like I run through that almost like at sonic speed. But this game is just, this particular level is just all the stops, and you have to wait and blow things up, and it's just, ugh. I'm not a fan of Tails, uh, Desert Lagoon. Uh, Tails has a mission in this area, and his I campaign, I don't like that one that much either. Although it's easier, because you can hover. With the Chaos Emerald in the Space Colony Ark. Hmm. I've got to find out just what's going on up there. We interrupt this broadcast for an important news flash. There has been a break-in at the Federal Reserve Bank today. Mysteriously, the only thing the that was stolen was emerald? the Chaos Emerald. According to eyewitnesses at the scene, the suspect was identified as the world-renowned hero, Sonic the Hedgehog. The suspect was seen fleeing the scene, destroying the reserve's guard robots in his path. Stay tuned for Sounds more details. More like the work of Shadow. <laughs> How pathetic. And now, let's put on our Sonic Tinfoil hats, because I am going to finish off this first episode with the best gameplay mechanic and style of this game series, the Hedgehog, the high-speed action racing sections. And the only thing anyone remembers this game for, because, uh, God forbid any of my friends actually remember the fact that, oh yeah, you could play as Tails and Eggman in this game, even though... They're not very big Sonic fans. I'm like the only hardcore Sonic fan that I know. Which is kind of sad. I'm also not that great at playing this game. But, uh... Let's get out our tinfoil hats and... I'm going to justify one of... Or attempt to justify. And uh, I'm not really serious about this. I completely understand and was even I, I even am on that side of it's completely stupid to confuse Sonic and Shadow but let's play a game of flimsy justification for why Shadow and Sonic are technically believed to be the same person. Okay. So they know that Sonic is a blue hedgehog who saved the planet from chaos. That is that is a thing, they know that Tails is a fox, and they know that they exist on this planet, and stuff and things and what have you. 
but they've never seen Shadow before. And Sonic is the only hedgehog, Tails is the only fox, and Knuckles is the only echidna that they've encountered. I, I, okay, Amy too, but Amy's a girl. Also, keep in mind that all of them are under 20 years of age and very much in their adolescence, which means Earth has not... I'm just going to go out of... Earth doesn't... Earth seems pretty much comprised predominantly of humans in this game. And they don't all look like Eggman. So I would find it very hard to believe that science and the general populace would not take Shadow as Sonic. Two reasons. One, they don't know what the Mobians age into. They, they don't know what the puberty for them is like. They don't know what the long-term lifespans for them are. They understood anatomy of Sonic and his race, races, animal friends. The understood anatomy is pretty much, I would assume, nil. So, where exactly is it written that animals that do not commonly exist on this planet could not metamorph into something different? And I mean, it doesn't even necessarily have to be different. I mean, animals change fur color all the time. Who's to say that Sonic just didn't get older, his quills got a little longer, and he changed colors? Like... Again, this is the most bullshit excuse I can think of, but, you know, attempts go. to justify tinfoil hat time... <laughs> I just, I don't understand why it's exactly that hard to believe. Given the context in which this is happening. Too easy for me. But then again, that's just thinking too much for the sake of having something to talk about. <laughs> we'll finish out this cutscene and next time we'll start what? with the hero mission. It all starts with this. A jewel containing the ultimate power. That's the Chaos Emerald! Now I know what's going on. The military has mistaken me for the likes of you. So, where do you think you're going with that emerald? Say something, you fake hedgehog! Chaos Control! Farewell. Yeah. 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 What is it? 